I think we decided that we weren't going to let some of the adversity affect us and that we were going to turn to our teammates instead of turning inward and being frustrated, but turn to our teammates to get ourselves out of that. And when you look at the stat sheet and you watch the film there, there was 11 possessions where we I'm sorry, seven possessions where we got defensive stops. And so we certainly increased our communication. We were higher in the gaps. We allowed our gap defense to be more helpful for us. And we were able to turn them over and then lead to easier offense for us. Kind of got us over the hump or, or back to how we are comfortable playing. I'm so happy for her. That's a young lady who spends a lot of time on her game, physical, in the weight room, working on her shot, mental, watching film. Uh, she's put a lot, a lot, a lot of time into her, her game. So for her to have this kind of success at home early in the season, I'm very happy for her. Gosh, I think it makes us challenging to defend. Um, I think that you've seen Taylor become more comfortable and relax a bit now that these six sophomores are, or freshmen are now sophomores and she's just more comfortable with them as, as she should be. But yet they're holding up their end of the bargain as well. Um, finding her when she's opening, open, allowing her to shoot and play her game. Uh, but there's a great chemistry, certainly between Taylor and Sarah, but really amongst the team. I think the 22 assists on 29 made field goals, that's 75%. That was, I'm willing to turn down a good shot to get you a great shot. It happened to be Sarah often, you know, wide open. Um, but I like that, uh, that statistic for the unselfishness, for the chemistry of, I don't really care who gets the shot, I just want it to go in. I think it comes from a lot of things. One is depth. One is increased confidence because these young ladies have worked on their games individually and collectively since this, you know, right after the season last year, that they're all growing. They're becoming more confident in themselves. And so it's easier to turn to your teammates because you know that they have confidence in you because you're showing that confidence. I'm extremely happy with all four freshmen who have played. We're still waiting. For, I'm sorry, all three freshmen who have played. We're still waiting for Emily Dietz and also RJ, uh, Riley Jacobson, you know, coming back. She's certainly a sophomore, but this, this was her first game action tonight. And I'm very happy with how all, all of those players are willing to make mistakes, are going hard, and then we can coach and we can correct. Their teammates can encourage. Um, I think Michelle is shooting the ball very, very well. Um, I think you saw Danny really dig in defensively, and she wants to be physical. She's comfortable being physical. I was very happy with how she played against a very talented senior post player. And, and Macy, I thought the first half was an adjustment for her, but the second half she was more confident, snatching rebounds, looking to score more aggressively. Uh, so as long as the young players and our team gets a little bit better each day, we're definitely going in the right direction. Riley has a great motor, but she's also incredibly smart. She sees angles. She understands player tendencies. So, yes, she just happens to be in the right spot at the right time because she works early to put herself in those, in those positions, whether it's an offensive rebound or being in the low eye for help to get a steal or to get a deflection. Um, she's another sophomore who went through the, the storm last year, you know, and she really grew up on the spot. Uh, and I think you're seeing a lot of that confidence in her wanting to shoot the ball, but also, you know, making some very important, you know, smaller plays that lead to a big play. You know, you, th you think you have, okay, we're going to do this, and then we're going to do that. And in some areas, we're ahead of schedule. In other areas, you know, we're, we're right on schedule. And in some, I'm like, wow, I didn't really foresee that being a hiccup for us. Um, but I'm happy with the growth. I'm happy with how we are progressing because it's consistent. Um, it's, it's, it's every single day. There's a little bit something more that, that we're learning and growing from. So I'm very happy at this point. We stayed we stayed upbeat. We uh, forced their turnovers. I mean, they had 18 turnovers, so that's that's really good. And we uh, we executed on our plays after that, and it worked out for us. 
I mean, my teammates set me up for good passes. It was my my job to finish them, so that's what I, that's what I try to do. I think just our um, extra passes on offense. I think if you make that one more pass, it's easier for people to knock it down, and not just myself, but I thought that as a whole we did a good job of making the one more pass and everybody was knocking down shots. That energy is contagious. When a team starts to make a run, you guys kind of look good in the third quarter, especially when you're came together as a team and I mean there's going to be ups and downs in games and I thought that we stayed true to our offense to what the coaches were telling us and we stuck together and kept making the extra passes and our shots kept falling and we kept getting stops on defense. Something that we started to do right away in the summer. We wanted to focus on pushing the pace, having a uh, high tempo, and I thought we've been doing great so far this year. We just got to keep that up. I know we have um, we have people coming off the bench that have been doing great. So keeping fresh bodies in and uh, going with that tempo the whole time is going to be really hard for us to to lose. By far the deepest. <laughs> By far the deepest. Yes. It's, it's good for everybody. I mean, it's knowing that the person coming in for you is just going to pick up where you left off. It's, it's great. And um, I think that's a very convincing feeling coming off the floor. And um, yeah, it's fun, to play. it's fun to play. There's improvement that needs to be made. I personally need to take care of the ball better. Um, we can sharpen up some things on defense, on offense. But if we continue to come to practice every day with open mindsets and um, a mentality to keep getting better, I see this group having a lot of potential in the future. Off that, I think um, coming off a good win tonight, we have to be focused going on Sunday, not taking it for granted, not thinking that we're going to blow by them. It's, it's, another, it's another game. You never know. It's whoever shows up, it's, it's, it's whoever's game. So we've got to come with what we came with tonight, and I think it's, it's going to be great.